everyone, we are back. We were just on about 15 minutes ago and we showed you some new fillers. And so I just wanted to do a craft with those new fillers while I'm here. So I'll wait for people to come on and we are actually gonna do a tobacco basket. So tobacco baskets are actually really popular. You can hang them um, on your walls inside or you can actually use it as a wreath for your front door. So I'm gonna show you the one that we got. We actually went for a little shopping trip here in California. We went to Hobby Lobby and we got a tobacco basket that was already kind of started, okay? Because I thought that would be a little bit easier with a limited time here. Hey everyone, again. Um, so if you just saw our last video, we went through and showed you some new flowers we got and some new fillers we got. So this craft is gonna use the new fillers that we have. Um, but our flowers are on sale as well. So the big sale, if you missed our last video, um, we are doing 60% off on our regular soul of wood flowers. And that code is new, N-E-W-60. But the Fifth Avenue and the fillers are also gonna be 20% off, but you don't need a code for those. So you can just stick them in your cart and put the coupon code and they'll take it off the regular soul of flowers. So again, we showed you the new flowers um, we're going to do something with those another time, but right now we're going to go over our new fillers. I'm so excited because I love all things fall, but I thought I'd do a little bit of an exciting color combination for our fall. Show you guys how you can mix fillers um, in different colors as well as flowers in different colors. So again, this tobacco basket had already started with some things in it, but the positive about kind of revamping things is that it's already kind of full and you didn't spend so much money, but our high quality preserved um, and dried fillers are gonna go on top of it, like, you know, so you're gonna see that first. And so when you look at it, you're gonna see all the really high quality fillers, your eyes will go to those automatically first, and it'll look like you really filled this thing with expensive fillers as opposed to like kind of these cheapy things in the background, but you're gonna see the really nice ones that love solar cells, and that's under the fillers tabs, but this set of greenery that I'm gonna to use today for the tobacco basket is under the new tab as well because these are all the new fillers we have. Again, they're gonna be 20% off, no code necessary. So let's just start. Um, so usually when you're making something like this, you need to have a starter bed of greenery um, or something like that, and we already do. So that's gonna save us some time. So we're gonna go right into the flower part first. And then like I said, we're gonna add all these fun fillers at the end so that that's what your eye catches first. So um, we have a really nice color combination. I'm going to show you a little bit about that right now. So um, I love oranges and blues together. So this is kind of our color scheme that we're going to be working with. Um, it's still very fall, but we got some bright blues in there, some darker blues, and some oranges. Um, and it's going to go really well with the colors we're bringing in with the new fillers. So I'm just gonna go right in. I don't need to wire these again because I already have this bed of faux greenery stuff. So I'm just gonna literally, this is a new glue gun, it's super hot. So I'm gonna try to not burn myself as well, but I'm literally gonna just start gluing. And what you wanna do when you're gluing directly is make sure you hit um, a piece of that faux greenery or at least part of the wood. And then once you start building with your flowers, you can actually glue your flowers kind of to each other. But it may, make sure it like grabs onto something. This glue is really hot because it's a new glue gun, so it's gonna just take a second to dry. And I'm just gonna start filling in with these flowers I've got here. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball it. I don't ever really set it out ahead of time, but you can. Um, if you feel like you don't want to just start gluing and you hope that it, you know, works out right, you can actually lay it out ahead of time. Um, but I always figure if I start that I'm going to just be able to make it work. So I'm going to start layering my flowers. So like with a basket like this, you don't want it to be very flat looking because you want it to look like you're filling the basket. So I like to like layer it up and make it more full and 3D that way. Okay. So we're going to go on to these turquoises and blues. So this was fun because this basket already had like a minty colored um, pumpkin in it. So it already lent itself to the fact that we can mix these really pretty fall colors along with these fun turquoisey colors. So again, I'm just making sure I'm layering. I wanna layer in color, but also in, let me see where I want these. I think 
I want this blue one down below. Okay, so I'm gonna put my navy up top. And again, I'm just making sure I'm either sticking to the wood or another flower. Okay. The fun part's gonna be the filler part, especially with all these new colors and fun stuff. Now I'm gonna go down here. I feel like I want this bright blue touching this here. I like to mix colors. If you've ever seen um, me do any of my tutorials here, it's fun to kind of just create new color combinations instead of like Googling like, you know, common color combinations. Just try to like hold things together and see what like looks good. All right, I'm gonna fill this one at the bottom and I'm gonna have to make sure I hit some of the wood down here below as well. And again, I'm gonna just make sure I'm like layering it so that I get more of that 3D effect as opposed to flat. The glue is like super duper hot, so you might have to hold it there for a few minutes. I'm not used to a new gun. Yeah, all my guns are like old and decrepit, but I was able to get a new gun today. Well, you know, Linda, you're broke now, but if you sell your things, then you're making money later. So sometimes it's a give and take. And really, if you've not tried our fillers yet, you can definitely, definitely, definitely charge more when you use preserved and dry high quality fillers as opposed to just faux. Um, so you're definitely going to get your money back on that. You don't have to worry about that part of it because the high quality fillers certainly add to the pricing at the end as well. Make sure you're pricing right though. Don't cut yourself short. Okay. So you see these colors? Isn't it so pretty? I can't wait to add these fillers in. I'm like so excited about the fillers. I'm trying to like get done with this. We do have a blog on um, color combinations and how to use the color wheel. If you're kind of like, oh, I don't know. I want to try something creative in colors, but I'm not really exactly sure, you know, what to mix or something like that. We have a blog. Um, I think you can actually search colors, the word colors, and the blog article pops up. So that search key, um, if you search something that's in one of our blogs, it'll pull that up in the blog too. So it's not just searching for flowers and stuff. You can actually search for blog topics. I love these colors together. I'm always all for oranges and blues together. It is probably my favorite color combination, but we are actually gonna use that lavender um, that I showed earlier, because we have preserved lavender. And if you didn't see the video, you gotta go back and watch it. And I mean, I'll show you the lavender again, but you gotta go watch how awesome and soft it is. So, we're gonna use the lavender too as like a pop of that, because the lavender is kind of like a deep purple and so it'll go with these blues really nice. So I am like hosing this down with glue um, just to make sure that we stick well because, um, I mean, I would put this on a front door since it's gonna be um, a fall looking type thing. Maybe it's gonna go on Sultan's front door. Maybe it's gonna go in the garbage. But either way, I can't take it home with me. Oh, just glued my hair. I glued my hair in it sometimes. <laughs> I literally am the clumsiest, craziest person in my hair. It's all right. I didn't need the bottom of my hair. <laughs> okay. We're good. We're good. Oh, it's been a long day here at the warehouse. Have you guys been having a good day? It has been a long day. Hey, Crystal, look at look at the colors. I used Crystal dyed these flowers for me, so she picked these beautiful colors. She loves blues and turquoise. She also loves fuchsias and pinks, but I didn't add those in for this one. Okay, all right. So I did my flowers, but again, if you're starting with a plain tobacco basket, um, you are going to make sure that you put something on the base. So like some leaves or something, but it's always fun to do. So like, think about this. So I got this at Hobby Lobby and I don't remember how much it was. 
but um, it came with the little word gather it came with a bed it had the you know the pumpkins and <laughs> now there's helicopters we had jet planes now there's helicopters I have no clue what's happening but um, this this already came with stuff in it and it makes it actually ends up being cheaper because if you get the whole basket on sale um, with everything in it by the time I would have bought all that stuff it probably would have ended up more expensive so I do like to do rehabs again if you try to buy the word gather and all that kind of stuff I do like to do rehabs more than um, I like to just kind of start from scratch and again we covered all that kind of cheapy faux it like just blends down in the background I did love the pumpkins and I love that there was a teal pumpkin on it yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes it did and then um, so yes, yeah, so it was good. Yes, we went shopping with the kids at Hobby Lobby and you know, the kids like to swing things around. So we lost a couple pieces of our greenery here. But anyway, after we did this, I'm gonna go in with my green first. So again, if you saw our video, you would see that we have this really good high quality preserved boxwood. So I'm gonna go in with the boxwood first. I always do like the greens and the leafy type stuff first. Um, and then I move to the more um, fun type fillers. Again, you want your eye to be drawn to your more, you know, expensive-y type things. So you're not gonna even notice that I had all those faux fillers in there once I fill it up with all this beautiful stuff. And again, if you um, missed our last video, this filler plus all of our fillers and the Fifth Avenue flowers are 20% off, but that you don't need a code for. But if you're wanting regular solo flowers and you're gonna need to get the code NEW60 in order to get 60% off. So you can fill your card up with both and when you put your coupon code in, it'll take it off of the correct stuff. So, and I am making a lot of webs because this is a new glue gun and it's just very hot. So these webs, I know some people ask about them. All you have to do is take a hair dryer on the hottest setting and you blow dry it for like 10 seconds and it disappears like magic. So I'm just, because I only need like little bits of this, I'm just peeling off the little stems. This boxwood is also really great for like boutonnieres and corsages as your greenery, because it's nice soft leaves. They stand up pretty straight. They're long enough in their little bits to fit in there. And it's not like that ugly sprayed boxwood. It is like super duper good quality. And I never buy boxwood because I've hated every one I've gotten. This is the only one that I truly have loved. So if you have had boxwood and you're like, oh, it looks spray painted or oh, it's too crispy or something, like give this one a try because it looks like really fresh greenery. I'm sliding away. So it looks really fresh and alive even though it's preserved. Okay. So I'm just tucking these pieces in. Usually I put either bundles of two or three of greens. I never just leave like one little stem sticking out. It's better to cluster because in general, when plants grow, like look at the branch itself, look at the branch itself, it clusters itself, okay? There's never usually just like one little thing when it's a bush type thing like this. So. Um, I keep them in clusters while I fill it up. I'm just gonna tuck them in. And then we're gonna move on to our fun colored ones that I'm so excited about. Did anyone pick up any of the new fillers? Because like I was saying before, if you buy all the new fillers, you could literally make entire projects with just that filler. You won't even need any other filler because we have very leafy fillers and then we have very fun, you know, accent type fillers. So you can kind of like not need anything else, but the thing then under our new tab, if you literally buy that, you can make every fall project you need. Okay, I'm gonna add a green a few more places. You could actually, with these boxes, with these um, tobacco baskets, you can actually make the greenery kind of cascading out as well. I'm not gonna do it for this one, but if you were, you could do it like where it comes down out of it as well. You don't have to keep it all like in the basket. 
All right, a couple more places for the green. And then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna add a little bit of the German status to give it that more like rusticy fall look. I know a lot of people were talking about the different sales and that they missed them and stuff. So if you are missing sales or you're missing videos, first thing to do um, is to go on our business page, which is facebook.com slash lovesolaflowers, and make sure you set your notifications to be told when we have videos. So you just go to notifications and you can put like push all, and that way it notifies you every time we get on a video, because a lot of times when we have new stuff and all that, we will do a video just to be able to show you. So if you feel like you're missing out, it could be because you don't have your notifications set up properly. And then of course, we always, always, always announce our sales through emails and texts not text doesn't happen all the time but the emails and then we also do send texts for something like really big and exciting but you need to make sure you sign up for the email you can sign up for our email on our website like when you click our website here that's what it looks like with the green so far when you are on our website it usually pops up and if not it's at the bottom of the website and you can set up for email alerts um, and you do get a coupon if you um, have never signed up for that and then you can also do the text alerts which is like, we will tell you when we have like big deals and stuff like that, because you don't want to miss those. Okay, I'm pulling over the German status. And I'm not gonna use a ton of this, but I want to just peek it through a little bit. I'm just gonna break it up into little bundles here. This is really nice too, because it grows like in its own little bundles. And it kind of gives like a cool shape and texture. So I do like to use this, especially in, in crafts like this, like the tobacco um, basket is, you know, more of a rustic type style craft. So these kind of fillers always make it look really extra special. Okay. Don't have my usual clippers with me. And again, the German status, yeah, no, these work. The German status um, is very strong, so it's it's a good one to be able to like kind of be rough with. Thanks, I know these colors. I kind of want to take it home with me. Just it. I can make my own. I don't usually make, end up making myself stuff. My house is so full of flowers. But I do love this kind of stuff. Everyone can always, like, everyone can make stuff for the door because who wants the same thing on your front door for like ever? So these are the kind of projects that are fun because you can do them for yourself and just keep changing out your door. And also when you put things like this on your front door or you know other places, like people might ask you like, oh, where did you get that? Like I've had a neighbor ask me where I've gotten my wreaths. I was like, oh, I make them. So you can then get some business just by like putting it on your door. All your neighbors will want you to make stuff for them. Okay, so I'm just tucking these in. Um, I just want to do a couple more pieces and then we're gonna move on to our colored fillers, which I'm super excited about. Especially the yellow billy balls because I love the little pop of color that that'll bring as well. Okay, so let me show you what I got going on so far. Again, we started out with just a basic, you know, fake silk, whatever, with a few pumpkins, and we're really filling it up. So, so these fillers um, have, you know, in the description, it explains a little bit about each of them and how many ounces. So a lot of people keep asking about, you know, how many um, stems are in each package, but it doesn't go by stems because sometimes one stem will have, you know, multiple little stems coming out of it. So it goes by ounces, um, but most of these are pretty big packs. Like this is a pretty big stack of this. So I might use a little bit of these guys. So it does have like, you know, those like raffia looking type things, which is nice along with the actual buds, but I'm gonna cut off a few here. So you can use both in this kind of a project and it's nice to have those like little wispy things going on, you know? All right, let me see if that's enough. I'm gonna add those. So they do separate once you like cut them. So I'm gonna put my little 
bloom in first, and then I'll go back and add the, you know, the, I don't know what you call it. I don't know the word, but you all know what I'm talking about. So these are great too for um, arrangements because you can just cut it off wherever you need it to be. So some of them are really long, like if you need them in a bouquet or in a tall arrangement, but you can just cut it right in the middle of the bloom to tuck it in these kind of this kind of way. I always start on my ends and then work my way to the center as well. I don't know if that's just habit or good planning, but um, let me see, a few more of these. I don't wanna go crazy, crazy. I mean, I do wanna go crazy, I do like to go crazy, but sometimes I gotta hold myself back because I do just wanna like fill, 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 fill. Sometimes it's a little bit overboard, but I'm going to attempt not to go too crazy today but I mean when you have all these beautiful fillers like the to me the fillers are just as beautiful as the flowers and I like hate to like not use them all so I tend to just keep going but I'm gonna maybe just use the ones that I've got here Dr. Seuss. they're Dr. Seuss with the little curly things oh the the Billy balls yeah they're coming in soon yeah, like the little who's, the Whoville. <laughs> Aw, maybe those little dots are little who's. All right, I think I got just one more. And then I'm gonna stick the little pieces that come with it, <laughs> whatever, whatever it would be called. And again, you can mix all these colors, um, but you could also, if you're gonna do, you know, colored fillers, I don't love this one. If you're doing colored fillers, you don't even have to dye your flowers. You could use raw and it would look just as beautiful, but I am a sucker for colors. So I'm glad that we had these ones ready to go. All right, I'm gonna do these little squiggly things now. These were with the, they're not like a separate thing. These are just, they come in the plant. But once you cut the one thing off, they just kinda, they don't stay attached. So, like I get two in one filler. Okay, I'm gonna do like a couple more of these. We'll move on to our last two, which are my favorite. And make sure that you're using your code if you're buying regular Sola flowers, um, because although this filler does not need a code, the regular Sola flowers do. It's sticking to me. Hold on. All right. I'm gonna do one more little twisty guy here. I should have taken a before and after shot to show you guys how boring it is when it starts, but how pretty you could make it with just Sola stuff. All right, I'm just de-webbing just a little bit, but again, you can use the hair dryer to de-web it at home, but I don't have one here in the warehouse. Okay, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna say the Billy Balls for last. I'm gonna do some lavender. Again, if, woo, if you have not watched the video before this one, then you didn't get to see my big spiel on how perfect this lavender is. But this is preserved lavender, okay? This is not dried. This is not the kind you buy that literally is just ends up seeds in a bag. Because the last lavender I bought literally was worth just a Ziploc baggie of seeds. This does not shed like that at all. Obviously, every so often, a couple of the little ones, but I mean, I think there was like four little bitty, bitty beads at the bottom of this bag when I took it out. What was on the base of the flowers? It was just, it was, I bought the basket. It had some faux ugly greens with um, three pumpkins. So I've covered the, their greens completely. I used it basically just as something to glue it on top of. And you can do that too. You can buy cheap faux and just stick it on the bottom and then completely cover it up and then fill 
in with the beautiful preserved and that's a way to save money because you know you're not needing to just stack up all this preserved stuff but all you're seeing is this beautiful um, high quality fillers as opposed to the junky fillers but anyway this is the best lavender um, it smells like real lavender obviously like it still has a smell but it's not crazy strong um, but I just want this little bits of this bright kind of purpley blue um, it's it's also because it's preserved it's more of like an alive flower lavender flower like a lavender field kind of the dried actually the color often is very subdued and it's more of that like kind of very very light purple um, but this is actually pretty bold in color which is beautiful as well so I'm just gonna tuck those in a few spots just to bring a little bit of life and color pops, especially by my oranges over here. And again, your eye will go to these high quality fillers. And so if you needed to make a bed using something else, just make sure you're filling on top with these guys. And you can definitely sell these things for more when you use dried and preserved. We only come up with the best fillers here. So if a filler isn't great, we're not gonna carry it. So if it's in our website tabs, it means that we've thought about it. Okay, a couple more of these and then just those yellow billy balls and then we're done. So again, if you hadn't seen our last video, go take a look because um, it shows you our new flowers up close and personal as well. And those are so beautiful. But tonight, we just wanted to show you a little bit about how to use these fillers. And again, all of the fillers that I'm using tonight are in that new tab. And literally, if you just buy all the new ones, you could make basically every project for the fall and for weddings and things like that. You really don't need anything else because it has greens, it has colors, and all that. So I'm done with that. Now I'm gonna move on to the Billy Balls and then we are done. So I'm gonna pop these tops off. Okay, and I don't wanna go crazy with these because it is kind of introducing a whole new color, um, the yellow, which is nice for the fall, but I don't wanna like overwhelm the senses because we're a little over. So can you please hold up for a second? Yes, I will hold, you mean the hold up the whole thing? Yeah, let me just cut the billy balls and then I will hold it up for you, okay? What? Oh, I didn't know that. So by the way, we didn't show this, but we also have natural um, Ceteria, okay? So I showed the, I mean, I'll put all this. So if you saw the last video and you didn't realize it, but we actually have two colors because I didn't realize it. That was my fault. So this is the natural color. So that's more of that like OD weedy looking kind of color. And then this one was like more of the rusty type color. Okay, so this is called natural. So that's great, that can go all year round too. All right, I'll hold this up for you. Someone asked for me to hold it up. But I'm gonna add my yellow billy balls. So let me do that first, because that's gonna kind of change the look of it all. These are so fun. The stems are pretty strong. It's not on like a baby skinny, you know, little wire thing. It's definitely a strong stem, which is nice. Ow which is nice. And I'm just gonna put a few of these. Crystal said these look like the Dr. Seuss, like Whoville, blowy things that they live on. Again, I don't wanna go crazy with adding a whole new color, but I do just want these all pops of yellow. I love this. <laughs> Sometimes I make things and I'm like, I just love these colors and it just gets me excited. But these fillers too. So these were new fillers, so I haven't really used many of them either. Perfect. I didn't know what. Oh, okay. Sorry if I miss your comments when I glue. So 
since it's really hot, I'm paying extra attention to where I'm putting my hand so I don't burn myself. Because I burnt myself last week already and I had like a Barbie bandaid on all week. And I don't need that again. Okay, so just a couple more of these. That is it. So again, all of these are in our new tab, 20% off. Um, if, you, if there's something that comes in multiple colors, there'll be a drop down box. Um, and then you can pick, you know, that kind of thing too. If you're needing um, multiple colors of one thing, you can throw them all in your cart and they are discounted right now. Okay, I'm done. So I'm gonna hold this up for you. Just let me get rid of a few more webs. Here we go. Okay. So again, I wish I actually took a picture of the before, but it was kind of sad. But now we're not sad. We are ready to go. Can you see? So see how all those fillers go together? I swear, everything that he got in that's new just goes together. It is big, Crystal. It's going on your door. I hope your door is ready. <laughs> now, if you do have um, very, very wet weather, I know we get this question a lot. If you're putting something on your front door or outside um, and you have very either humid or very wet weather, um, and there's like, even you should always have it under an overhang because it can't be really in direct elements, but you can, I know a lot of people ask this, you can um, spray it with a polyacrylic spray. You can get it at hardware stores. It literally says polyacrylic or something or an acrylic spray. And you can just literally hose the entire thing down and that will keep it a little bit like waterproofed and um, a little bit, um, what's the word, protected. So you won't have to worry about it. Again, you don't want to indirect like pouring rain or anything, but um, you know, just for the regular elements that can give you an extra little added thing. So, all right. So you see, We've got all our new fillers going. So make sure you check out our sale on lovesoulflowers.com. Um, if you want all the new stuff, there is a section for new. And um, you can get the 20% off the fillers and the Fifth Avenue. And then for the regular soul flowers, for the 60% off, you're just going to use the code NEW60. And then that is that. So we're done for our crafting tonight. We hope you enjoyed our late night crafting. It's so fun to be on Pacific Standard Time. It feels actually early for me for late night crafting. So usually my late night crafting is a little bit earlier than this, but it's actually late night, but now we're late night and it's early. <laughs> so anyway, all right guys, have a good night and I hope you guys get all of these fillers because you will have so much fun uh, doing them all together.